So the pylon is there permanently. It's positioned, I mean, it sticks out, so it does provide a little bit of drag. But the whole idea of the installation was that we wouldn't in interfere with the operational capability of the aircraft, meaning being able to go as high and as fast as the, uh, and as slow, really, as the aircraft was designed you know, by Boeing back in the day. So um, we did a lot of fluid modeling. We've, we've put some aerodynamic treatments on it so that it, we, and we achieved that. You know, speeds below a normal landing speed, maybe 30% um, or so above a stall speed, getting a little bit lower than that. And we, would, and we do have to do that occasionally for the uh, engine testing. That's when we'll really see that need for the cross control. But uh, even on a normal landing or a normal takeoff, we don't, uh, we don't have much uh, effects.